Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video doing Darius Geis of the LSU Tigers, a running back that is headed on into the 2018 NFL Draft. All 5'11", 220 pounds of him will be displayed right here on your screen in the Seattle Seahawks uniform, and that's for a very specific reason. That reason is that he's for some reason been in a lot of mock drafts with the Seattle Seahawks picked by Seattle in the first round, which is Kind of shocking to me, to be honest with you, especially given the recent struggles of the offensive line for Seattle. I would almost exclusively expect a left tackle or offensive line pick in general in the first round of any mock draft that I've seen. But a lot of people are saying, you know, they need to reinstall a Marshawn Lynch mentality with a guy like Darius Geis. And I completely disagree with that. We've tried that already. And the, this is what kind of scares me about Darius Geis. A lot of Seahawks fans out there probably know about Thomas Rawls and what he did with Seattle. To me, he reminds me a lot of what Thomas Rawls was, a guy who ran really angry, and that's what a lot of people describe Darius Geis as. And I'm sure Geis will probably be a better player than Thomas Rawls was. I think he's a better guy in terms of reading his blocks and, and having great ball carry vision in comparison to Thomas Rawls. However, it still kind of scares me, and I didn't, I wasn't extraordinarily impressed by what Geis did in college. That's just my opinion on the matter. I still think he's a very good college player, and I think he's probably going to do pretty well in the NFL because he's going to most likely end up with an offensive line unit that's probably better than Seattle. That's just my opinion. I don't think there's a lot of offensive line units he could end up with that would be worse than Seattle, so I do see him being better off than what he would have been if he was drafted with the Seahawks. I don't really see him getting drafted by Seattle in the first round especially, though. If he, if he drops to the second round, we don't even have a pick in the second round, I believe, so that's not even going to be an issue, but... I don't really see Geis going to Seattle. That's just my opinion on the matter. But getting on into Geis and his actual or Geis and his actual impact in college, ran for 1,300 yards his sophomore year with LSU, 15 touchdowns, and then his last year, his junior year, this past season, 1,200 yards on the ground, 11 rushing touchdowns. Pretty good college career, and obviously he's shown flashes of brilliance, which is why he's rated as a top running back prospect in this draft. And again, it just sort of scares me. For some reason, he just reminds me of Thomas Rawls. His running style, I don't know what it is. It just kind of is weird to me. But one thing I do have to you know, credit him for, very powerful runner and also great speed. Again, with the blocking, he has had some good blockers at LSU. And Ethan Posick, actually a guy who got drafted by Seattle, was one of the guys that blocked for him a year ago. And, and he's done well, obviously, in LSU. But the power and speed is what I think is, is a separate is a difference maker for him a lot especially the power when you look at a guy like his frame 5'11 220 is a bigger back than Thomas Rawls that's one thing uh, how, how I can compare him to a Seattle back that is probably not going to be with Seattle anymore but good power very good low to the ground excellent leg strength and then good open field speed and, and does read the blocks very well not the shiftiest guys well, not one of the shiftiest guys in the world not the fastest guy either but very powerful and, and definitely can get the most out of the small you know chunks of yards i think that's one of the best probably aspects about darius guys running the football he seems to definitely squeeze in those holes and just get as many yards as he possibly can on run plays that's something that i feel like frank gore has mastered just for me personally watching him i feel like there's never a time where frank gore doesn't get the most out of every single running play that's just how i've seen him play in san francisco and the same thing has followed in Indianapolis. I mean, the guy's running for over 900 yards a season at age 33, 34. It's incredible, and that's because he's just getting the most out of every carry he gets, and he gets a lot of carries. He has great durability. I don't know about the durability of Darius Geis. That's one thing that probably everybody has question marks over any running back, and just again for me, the injury history with Rawls, getting a running back. We, never, we haven't drafted a guy in the first round as a running back, so maybe it would pan out, but... I'm so concerned about the offensive line. I think guys can be great somewhere else. I don't want to see him in Seattle personally. I don't think that would ruin his career. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but that's just how it is in Seattle right now. I mean, these guys, I don't know. Maybe there will be a, a guy that will just show up and, and be great. But right now, I think Chris Carson's the man in Seattle, and I think he has the ability to really become something great if we can work with the offensive line. So I think I'm content with that. But guys, We'll see where he ends up. The Detroit Lions are a big landing spot as well that a lot of people have him going to. I could absolutely see him going there. They've really lacked a guy with power, especially running the football. They've had the Theoretics, the Amir Abdullahs of the world. Zach Zanet has tried to get things going. He's not a number one guy. 
they need a Darius Geis. I would really be interested in seeing him go to Detroit, maybe get some more stability on that offense because passing the football, they got one of the best quarterbacks in the league at the helm. Would really like to see him in Detroit personally. But getting on into the ratings for Darius Geis, you see the trucking elusiveness is going to be high. All care vision, decent. Um, but the strength, the trucking is what I see is most fit for Darius Geis. And then I give him the high 80s speed, 87, 88 range, acceleration, agility. It's all up for grabs. You can really adjust this however you like. It, it, it just depends on, on how you feel. The ratings should be created for the player and how you compare it to other guys. But that actually will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden Player Creation tutorial videos as well as online franchise series with the Seattle Seahawks that I've recently started and the two old franchise that I've already started and I'm basically halfway done with. But once again, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yep, thanks for watching.